Welcome back sa ating FB page na Free Review is managed by Luna Lin at sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Luna Lin. Now, dito na naman tayo sa PEMDAS. Ano ba mga meaning dito sa PEMDAS na to? Ito yung parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, at subtraction. Kapag mga ganito, masusolve lang natin ito by following the order of operations or kilalang PEMDAS, pwede ring GEMDAS, GEMDAS, pwede ring BODMAS, ano pa ba, marami pa, meron pang BEDMAS, marami pa yan siya. Anyway, pangit ng handwriting ko. Kapag ang sagot nyo ay itong 45, 7, 9, 17, kapag yan, isa dyan ang sagot nyo, please lang panoorin ang video ito. Marami pa rin nagkakamali when it comes to order of operations. Paano kayang 33 yung tamang sagot dito? Alamin kung ano, paano ba yung left to right na yan? Saan ba yan nagagamit yung left to right? Tandaan! na kapag maintindihan nyo na itong order of operations kung paano yan i-follow, masasagutan nyo na ito mismong lumabas sa civil service exam. Ito lumabas ito dati, yung mga ganitong tanong lumabas na to sa mismong civil service exam. So, wag nyo i-memorize yung nandito ha. wag nyo i-memorize kung ano yung mga sagot dyan. Ang kabisaduhin nyo kung paano ba itong Order of Operations. So, bago tayo magbasa sa mga references na nandito, sagutan muna natin to. Paano nga ba yan, ma'am? Sa Order of Operations, meron tayong PEMDAS, na sinabi ko na kanina. Ito yung mga acronym lang para hindi makalimutan yung mismong Order of Operations. So, Ang una ay parenthesis, groupings, or brackets. Wala tayong mga parenthesis dyan, kaya i-ignore natin yan siya. Exponents, orders, wala rin dyan, so ignore natin yan. Ang step number three, multiplication and division. They rank equally kayo. We can solve them whichever comes first. Anong ibig sabihin ng whichever comes first? Kung alin ba ang nauna sa given? Left. To write. So, sa nandito, 11 minus 3 plus 10 divided by 2 times 5. Meron tayong mga operations dyan na minus yung addition, division, at multiplication. So, sa order of operation, unahin natin si division at si multiplication. At yan ay left to right. So, erase na natin muna to. Mag left to right tayo. Nauna, si division na natin yan, 10 divided by 2, and that is 5. Next, 5 times 5 equals 25. Now, kopyahin na natin yan siya. So, we have 11 minus 3 plus 25. According pa rin sa order of operations, yung natitirang A at S, they also rank equally, kaya we can solve them whichever comes first. Ibig sabihin kung alin ang nauna from left to right. Inauna yung subtraction, unahin natin yan siya. 11 minus 3 and this is 8. 8 plus 25, this is equal to 33. Kaya ang tamang sagot dito ay 33. Ito lagi ko na nababasa. So bali mali yung tinuro ng teacher namin ma'am. So, mali daw ang tinuro ng teacher niyo. So far naman, wala pa namang mga teacher din na nag... Uh, hindi pa naman sila nag-mention kung sino yung teacher na li, na, nila kasi kadalasan inaask ko sila na paki-mention kung sino yung teacher. Nag-uumpisa tayo with regards sa order of operations or itong PIMDA since 2017 pa. Tapos gumagawa na tayong mga video since 2018 at hanggang ngayon marami pa rin nagkakamali nito. So, anyway... Ito ay galing sa libro ito, galing sa grade 4 textbook. Which of the answers is correct? So, dito sa grade 4 textbook, ang given dito, or yung tanong dito ay, meron tayong subtraction, addition, subtraction. 
Is it letter A na from left to right or is it B na unahin talaga yung addition bago yung mga subtraction na yan? Or is it letter C na from left, ano ba yun? From right going to the left. So, of course, mali na yan siya. Now, yung tanong kung saan dito sa dalawa ang tama. Basahin natin yung next. To ensure, to ensure we will all arrive at the same answer, the order of operations was agreed upon. Since there is only addition and subtraction in the number sentence, we work from left to right. Kaya ang tamang sagot daw ay itong letter A. Left to right, ito yung letter A. Ganito ang pag-solve daw. Ito ay galing sa grade 4 textbook. So, nauna si subtraction, unahin, unahin natin yan. Next si addition at si subtraction left to right. Yan yung ibig sabihin ng left to right. Now, doon tayo sa division at multiplication. So, huwag na nating pahabain pa. Ang nauna dyan, division, multiplication, division. So, obviously, mali itong letter A na unahin yung multiplication. Ito yung tama letter B na left to right. At yan yung Nakasulat dito, since there is only multiplication and division in the number sentence, we work from left to right. Thus, the correct answer is letter B daw. And then, may karugtong yan. In cases where addition or subtraction is combined daw, together ba? With multiplication or division, work from left to right pa rin, pero doing multiplication or division first. Bago yung addition or subtraction. Ito ay grade 4 textbook. Now, doon tayo sa ay isa pang example under grade 4 textbook. Meron itong adi, uh, subtraction, addition at multiplication. So, unahin si multiplication. There is, there is subtraction, addition, and multiplication. Do multiplication first. Next. Ang natitira ay subtraction at addition. After doing Multiplication, there is subtraction and addition, left to right. So, work from left to right, bali, do subtraction. Klaro man dito nasa grade 4 textbook. Unahin muna si subtraction bago yung addition kasi yan yung given. Next, meron tayong division at uh, multiplication pinagitnaan sa subtraction. Since there is division and multiplication together, work from left to right, do division first. Pero para sa akin anyway, ang um, nasa git pinagitnaan kasi siya ng subtraction so pwede mo siyang ipagsabay. So anyway, next grade 5 textbook. Direkta tayo sa rule number 3 sa grade 5 textbook. Multiplication and division in the order they appear from left to right. Ganun din sa addition at subtraction in the order they appear. Big sabihin ko ano yung given ba? Left to right. Doon tayo sa grade 6 textbook. Multiplication or division left to right pa rin. Addition or subtraction left to right pa rin. Then dito tayo sa uh, reviewercivilserviceexam.com. Direkta na tayo dito sa multiplication and division, addition or subtraction kasi dito kayo nag uh, dito ang karamihan na nagkakamali. These two operations actually have the same rank, so you should complete these two operations in the order they, up, they occur left to right pa rin. Ganun din sa addition at subtraction, left to right pa rin. Kung hindi pa yan naintindihan, dito ulit tayo isa pa. Multiplication, division, perform any multiplication, division you will see from left to right at ganun din sa addition at subtraction. Meron pa isa, study.com. Direkta na, put, na naman tayo dito sa multiplication and division. Even though M for multiplication in PEMDAS comes before D for division. Sa Tagalog, kahit daw itong si M ay mas nauna kaysa dito sa D, dito sa acronym na PEMDAS, these two operations actually have the same priority. Kaya, i-complete daw natin to these two operations in the order they occur from left to right. Ganun din naman sa addition at subtraction. Kahit daw nauna itong A dito sa PEMDAS kay ni S, these two operations also have the same priority. So, dapat left 
to write pa rin kung alin ang nauna. Now, I hope nag-gets nyo na kung paano itong 33 ang tamang sagot. Now, i-double check natin. Meron naman tayong calculator dito. Now, isang klaseng calculator. 11 minus 3 plus 10 divided by 2 times 5. Ang sagot dito ay 33. Isa pang klaseng calculator. 11 minus 3 plus 10 divided by 2 times 5. At ang sagot din dito ay 33. Now, dito naman tayo sa isa pang scientific calculator. 11 minus 3 plus 10, tapos i-divide natin sa 2 times 5. Ang sagot dito ay 33 pa rin. So, therefore, ang tamang sagot dito ay 33. Kung medyo naguluhan pa rin kayo, comment na lang. Thank you and God bless.